Hello everyone, today let us use uh, script now to add a condition. Now we have been using a uh, script now on cloud for doing uh, wonderful things and we are learning a lot. Now today I want to continue that uh, learning and I want to basically do something with the workflows. Now let us say you have a workflow and if you look at this workflow, it's a simple workflow, nothing great here, but uh, we have a transition in workflows. We have a transition, we have transitions. Now we want to control who can do, basically we want to do something, we want to control something and uh, we want to stop the users from uh, moving the issue from open to in progress. So basically this is the transition called start progress. And I want to do something here. I want to basically make sure that some conditions are met before we can execute this uh, transition. Now let us take a look at the conditions and uh, let us see what all conditions we have here when it comes to uh, using script or not. So we have plenty of conditions and most of these conditions are either uh, out of the box or they are from Jira Suite Utilities which is there on the cloud by default. So you can use these great conditions. But I am interested in uh, using uh, script or not and I want, to sh I, I want to basically take a look at uh, how conditions will work using uh, script now for Jira. Now I will add this condition and uh, the first thing that you will notice if you compare it with uh, the server version, we don't really have an option here to write uh, code, but we do have something called a script condition and it says here, so there is there is one uh, help, help text here that says insert Jira expression here to use a condition for the transition. Now basically we have to use uh, uh, something called as Jira expression and if you want to learn how it works you can take a look at uh, the Atlassian documentation, the developer documentation and you can also take a look at some examples on uh, script in our documentation. Now I will first take a look at the Jira expression page on uh, the Atlassian uh, on the on the on the Jira cloud pla platform for developer and we do we do have a lot of things here for example if you look at uh, if I mean you can read the page but uh, you have things that you can do here with let us say an issue so here it says so you have some examples here for example issue dot comments and uh, I believe if we can copy it uh, so basically what this is doing here it will basically check whether the comments uh, are added so we, we can read this. I don't really want to spend time understanding the <laughs> expression. So it says here, for example, you can you could use the following ex following expression to show your panel only if the current user commented on the current issue. So this is fine. I mean, we can copy it and we can go back to the work to the workflow. And if we copy it here, so we can we can use it. But I don't I don't really want to use the filter right now. Let us keep it very simple. So what it will do, what it should do is basically it will, I mean as per this particular Jira expression, it says that if you have any comment on the issue, only then you can make a transition. So basically if the number of comments are more than zero, maybe one, two or more comments, only then you can make a transition. If you don't have any comment, you cannot make a transition. So let us check this. So I'll first uh, add, I'll, I'll give this condition a name, check for comments and the good thing is that you can also check and validate this. So there is an option here called uh, test against issue and right now this particular workflow is within my project which is I believe a bug something. Let me try if I can find something here uh, for uh, my bug tracking. What is the name of my, I need to check my project name. So I uh, so it is, I believe BT. So if I find something, we don't, we don't really have any issue. Uh, anyways, for the time being, let me first uh, add the condition. So we can test it here for iOS 2.32. So let us say if you have this issue and if you click on this test button, it will show you result, which is all green it means that this particular issue it has some comment so let us validate very quickly if i take a look at uh, 
iOS 2.32 and if I open it separately I can see hopefully that we have any comment here or not I think uh, this particular issue has comments good great let us take a look at something uh, something else maybe 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 iOS 20 iOS 2.20 so do we have any comments so it says here uh, if you look at the comment section uh, come on okay so yeah it's a bit slow so there are no comments yet on this issue so if i use ios 220 on my condition let me try if i can so test and it and it is false so it seems like it should work let us click on the add button and let us see if it works or not so we have a new condition and uh, let us let, let us uh, check whether we can uh, use this condition now in the in the workflow i am basically modifying the default workflow which is probably not a great thing to do but uh, maybe i will uh, apply it to a project or maybe we will take a look at some other some other workflow let let me find uh, one relevant issue Maybe, uh, or maybe the project. I, I think I'll probably modify this iOS 220 or the project which is clone iOS. Let us take a look at the uh, workflow very quickly. So let us not modify the default workflow, which is probably not a good thing to do. So we do have this uh, workflow here and it says uh, it is a simplified workflow. It should be okay. We can always use simplified workflow. So what I want to do now is I want to basically add a condition on this transition let us say like the condition which is uh, in progress so basically we want to avoid people from moving the issue to in progress state unless at least one comment is added so let us add this comment uh, this condition very quickly check for comments can i copy the same thing yeah i can i still have that and uh, add and we'll publish the workflow so this looks good come on i'm just waiting for the condition to appear here so there is no condition <laughs> it's a bit weird anyways let us let us refresh oh yeah i was a bit impatient so there, there is a condition here and we can publish the draft i don't really want to save the backup publish and i guess we are done so let us go back to the to the issue maybe one of the issue which is ios 2 i don't know the current status of so yep so we have the issue which is right now in to do state and uh, we also have uh, this workflow let me flip first click on the workflow so we can definitely see that we have a workflow transition called in progress of course a global transition but there is no button here on top but what if i add a new comment new comment and uh, we can add a comment here and the moment i add a comment we have this new condition and uh, we can move the issue to in progress we can basically click on this transition in progress all good great works fine but i want to do a bit more so let us take a look at what else we can do maybe i want to add one more condition i think uh, let, let us add one more condition so if i go back to the workflow and uh, th th there was a time when i used to spend uh, when i used to prefer working on text mode but nowadays I always prefer working on diagram mode for some reason, I, I don't know. There are a few things, by the way, there are a few things that you can only do in uh, text mode. If you want to know what, uh, what all you can do only in text mode, take a look at some of my videos, search for workflow. Anyways, back to the, to the condition. So I want to do something else with the, this transition. I will add one more condition. And let us add one more condition of type uh, script script condition and uh, let us click on uh, i think this page takes a bit more time than usual to to load the condition to load basically all the conditions that we have we do have one condition and uh, let us let us add one more like script script on a script and i will uh, click on the add button uh, this time i uh, i'm not sure what to do so 
I would say, uh, let us take a look at the page, the documentation, the official documentation, and we do have some examples, some great examples here. So on this particular page, we can see here that uh, there is a, there is an expression called issue dot attachments, and uh, again, it will check whether I mean, if you want to filter, you can filter, but if you don't really want to filter, you can just do issue dot attachments dot length greater than zero. So I I guess. It means that uh, there should be at least one attachment, but that attachment can be of a specific type, which is PDF. So we can filter based on that. And I believe if we go to this particular page, if you want to know what all, what all you can do, uh, let, let us say if you want to know and uh, you want to explore the examples, what you can do here is here is you can click on the context variables, which is issue, and then uh, you can do and you can learn basically what all you can do with these. Uh, with the with the issue for example if you talk about attachment so there is a link here called attachment and it will let you <clears throat> uh, take a look at and by the way this is a list so basically when you look at the attachments of a specific issue you will get a list so it is obvious and uh, when you have a list you can of course uh, do things to also check whether you have one item or multiple items and uh, you can also in a way do some kind of iteration but you do have the option to filter like uh, right now we are looking at one example here where we are looking at uh, the attachment but we also want to make sure that attachment type is a pdf so we can test this by going back to the to the workflow condition attachment of type uh, PDF and I can copy the condition as it is without testing. Let us not test it. Maybe we will test it. Okay, let us test it. Always a good idea. So iOS 220. So we have two conditions now. One is that we should have a comment. Second, we should have at least one PDF file. So what I'll do, I'll probably copy one PDF here. Let us let, us, let me find one PDF and uh, let me uh, try to attach it to the to the issue i'm trying to attach the file the good thing is that you can drag and drop the attachments and it will work so we now have the attachment and we also have a comment on this particular issue so let us uh, go back to the same issue and click on test and it works great you can add this condition now and uh, hopefully it will uh, be displayed here so we have two two conditions here and i believe you can still do things like uh, if you want to let us say add or maybe make this as a group and you can also do something like and and or if you want let us not do those complicated things let us keep it simple and publish this draft workflow and uh, basically as per the current situation we should have all the conditions uh, we should have all the conditions to be true only then you can make a transition now if you go back to the issue of course uh, we now have a you now we have an attachment and we also have the comment so we can always make a transition let, let us look for another issue ios 221 and uh, let us see if we can uh, find a comment here so first of all i don't see the in progress button so it means that there is no comment and there is no PDF, but let us test it. Let us test it properly. I'll first add a comment. This is a comment and add. Click on the add button. And uh, do we have the button on top? No, not yet, not yet. But we can definitely attach a file. And uh, for that, I need to find a file that I can attach of type of type uh, PDF. So let me take a look at some of the files I have. I will probably attach this uh, PDF and the moment you have the attachment PDF attachment attached to the to the issue you may want to refresh the the issue and now we have the button called in progress and if you click on the button can we can we make a transition let us click on the button and uh, let us wait for the transition screen to appear we have the transition screen and we want to change the progress and we have been able to change the transition so it works great and uh, the good thing about uh, the Gita expression 
Jira expressions is that you can do a lot of powerful things. I'm still exploring what all I can do. And of course, it will take a bit more time, but it, it is quite obvious. It is not very difficult as compared to what you can. I mean, it is not like writing a proper Groovy script, but still, it is not bad. You can do a lot of things. And uh, I will definitely cover more examples. And I will uh, let you know if I can find something interesting. But do take a look at these two pages. Look, first of all, look at the script owner documentation to know what all you can do uh, with some examples that you can straight away copy and paste but also take a look at this page this documentation about uh, jira expressions where you can understand uh, in detail about uh, uh, the capabilities of of jira expressions and that is all i wanted to share and talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much